police. Uh, Me too. It's, it, it, it's bad people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Um, but patrol there's, there's still a lot patrol. of it. Yeah. There's still a lot of it. I also believe that black people are suffering, those who are suffering, not all, not all, not all, not all, but most, they're suffering not due to this phony idea of racism, but the lack of more character and the destruction of the family. Because when I was growing up, we had family. Grandparents around, parents around, everybody. And we all work. I've been working since day one. Uh, now they don't do that, and the family is destroyed. And so I believe that blacks who are suffering are doing it because of the lack of family and, this, and no moral character. What do you think? I agree, 100%. Uh, lack of moral fiber. Yeah, absolutely. i got to ask you about the great white hope. You know what that is? Uh, I, I believe you mean uh, President Trump. Right on the money. I call him the great white hope. You remind me of him somewhat. What's well, your... full disclosure, I knew President Trump. 25 years ago. Oh, you did? He and I, not we didn't hang in the same circles, but we used the same law firm. One of my former business partners was the former governor of New York, Hugh Carey, uh, who uh, was a partner in the law firm, the uh, same law firm that the president used. And yeah. so, but the last time I saw President Trump was uh, 1993 at the grand opening of the MGM Hotel in Las Vegas. So have you ever like ran into him? At oh, a yeah. meeting or something oh, like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. And so were you both, like, talk with each other? Hey, oh, man. Yeah. Hey, man, how are you? Yeah, well, he, he, he is ten times tougher than he comes across on TV. Oh, yeah? At least ten, maybe a hundred times. Wow. I mean, he is a ball-busting, hold you accountable. Yes. If you tell him that you're going to be on the moon by next week, you better be on the <laughs> bloody moon next week. Yes. <laughs> and so, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't take any excuses. That's amazing. I, I like him for that, too. That's why I yeah. think we're fortunate to have him as president. Uh, did you, you didn't vote for him because you're not a citizen. No, I, I'm still a citizen. Did you vote and for I, him? I, uh, uh, no, I didn't. Why not? Uh, because I wasn't registered to vote. I'm, I, I am now registered to vote. Oh. But in uh, late 2015, early 2016, I said, if, if Donald Trump is serious about being president, he's going to win in a landslide. Yes. Okay? Yes. And uh, the... Now, uh, and if he can keep from getting impeached, is he uh, Canadian uh, or he's some gonna shit? win another landslide yes. uh, this next time around. They definitely want him out, man. They yeah, hate oh, him yeah. because they, he's they, a man. They, they, he has changed the way um, uh, you build wealth forevermore. We're now go undergoing the greatest transformation of wealth he's in the history Spanish. of the world. Yes. He's definitely not Spanish. Spanish. He's the lowest they've been in 5,000 years. He's done away with Indian, 70, 80% but... of all the bureaucratic crap that you have to do. <laughs> To file for papers and get money, etc. Uh, yeah. I, 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 he's done a, a darn good job. White. This guy's people, literally the villain. And especially white, straight, conservative In every Christian men game. Okay. are the most hated people by the people of color. He is not Spanish. On this side of heaven, why are white people so hated when they're the one really he was born building the greatest Florida. societies on this planet? America, Europe. But they're the most hated. Why is that? Well, I believe it's primarily because of the liberal uh, news media. For example, four or five months ago, there was a, um, a viral thing. didn't even go viral. A black school teacher, I believe in Alabama, who beat a white student. He deserved a beating. Yes. Okay. He, she yep. hit him with a, a mop about six, eight times upside the head. Okay. And uh, it wasn't on one news station. Okay. Now, uh, the, if that had been a white teacher yes. hitting a black kid, yes. okay? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that there's not a, a lot of bad things that happen. But you're there. absolutely right about that. Yeah, right? but I mean, the, they, 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 they hush it up. Why and, are uh, white people so hated? I need to understand that. Well, I mean, be, because, uh, again, I, I believe it, it's, it's the easiest thing for the uh, liberal uh, news media to get a, a hold of and to get a rise out of uh, the, uh, to, to hate, uh, uh, you know, they're making fun of white gray-haired, wrinkled yeah. old men yeah. on boards of directors who run the companies of the world, uh, which is a, a lot of truth in that, and they're bringing more and more women in. But, I mean, uh, they had capable women 50 years ago, yeah. okay? Yeah. But now they've got even more capable women in the last 10 or 20 years. Well, they're bringing on a lot of destruction. They're destroying these companies. And I just saw Gillette, uh, the best a man can get, right? <laughs> yep. And they're, blades, they, yeah. they're attacking men. They're attacking, they call them... Mis uh, Misogynist. Uh, something like that. Something crazy. We're well, so damaged. Why are we so damaged? Uh, be, because it, it, they have to get ratings. And the best way to get ratings is to stir the pot of crap. Yeah. Uh, now, a statistic for you. In 1986, 
The average strength of a man's handshake was 116 pounds per square inch. In 2016, the average handshake of a man Bro. is 96 pounds. Jesus Christ, these made up statistics, man. Absolute retard. No one measured this fucking shit. <laughs> My god, this motherfucker believe every what the fucking is.